morning everybody happy Tuesday I'm gonna walk you through how I'm gonna slice and dice a simple video um, into a blog and a post into multiple pieces so that one piece of effort you can multiply the use of it so let's go and have a look at that I'm going to show you what um, I often use to create content for me um, this is something that I think a lot of people don't take advantage of and I do feel that often your keyboard gets in the way. So I'm in a Microsoft Word uh, document, a blank one. And yes, you can get Microsoft Word on the browser version for free. So no excuses. And Google Docs does this as well. Here's your dictate button. Uh, I've turned it on. I'm going to turn it on, sorry. So you can now see that as I'm talking, words are now appearing on the screen. I'm also going to say some things that seem a bit odd. Full stop, new line. To prepare for this, full stop, new line. Great. Sometimes if your enunciation isn't as good as it could be, <laughs> you don't always get the result that you want. Note to self, speak clearly. Full stop, new line. So the first thing that I did before I started this screen recording was turn off my system settings that when I don't use my computer for more than a minute, it goes into screensaver. And this would have stopped because as soon as you touch your keyboard, the dictation will stop. So make sure that you don't touch the keyboard. Full stop, new line. Indent. The great thing about this option is that, as I said, I often think that keyboards can get in the way of how we type and how we get things out of our head and onto paper. It certainly does for me. Full stop, new line. So I use this. It makes life much easier. It gets my language right. Does it always get the new line? No. You can see it didn't work, but that's okay. There's a lot of information here, it saves me typing it, and I can go back and adjust it as I feel necessary. Full stop, new line. Yep, the um, <laughs> uh, word is playing up today, so that's okay. It's, it's giving you an example of what's possible. You can see it's putting in its own uh, grammar, the spelling is correct because I certainly can't spell terribly well. However, it does save me a lot of time. So have fun with this one. I want to show you what news looks like. You've heard me speak about it already on previous um, videos. And so I've got a whole bunch of um, videos here. This is the 30 day challenge. I'm saving them all here. But what I wanted to show you was what its capability is. So let's just jump into one of the ones that I've done. And it automatically, I haven't even played it. It automatically transcribes it. I really love that. And you can download the transcript. Really cool. Um, you've got the option to embed it as a HTML if it needs to go on a website. It gives you all that there. Um, clicking on share again you can just copy the link you can download the um, video and transcript um, you can see the analytics of how much engagement how many people have watched it how long they've watched it etc of course it picks up me watching it as well um, so this is uh, a system or, um, that I took on in replacement of Vimeo there's lots of other ones out there but I really like this one it's quite um, cost-effective but I do love this. And when people play the video, they get a little button here to, to click and they can see the entire transcript. So it caters to those people who are um, audio, visual, and need to read the written word. So it caters to everybody. Uh, really love it for that. So that's pretty much it for news.